Hey, what's going on guys? It's this kid and I just wanted to make a video today just to talk about some of the mounts that are going to be very, very hard to get past Shadowlands or the mounts that are going to be impossible to get after Shadowlands. As we're getting into the last season of Shadowlands, I really just wanted to make a video to help you focus your attention on specific things. I really wish I had a video like this in Battle for Azeroth for things like Tour of Duties or Conqueror of Azeroth, which are extremely hard to get now. On top of that, some things like Duelers Guild and other achievements are very, very hard to get as well. But anyway, with all that being said, let's get into the specific mounts that are either going to be impossible or extremely hard to get once we're in Dragonflight. So in the first part of this video, we're going to talk about things that are going to be a little bit harder to get because people aren't going to be making groups for these sorts of things. So the first mount that I'm going to mention here is going to be the Ascended Skymain, and that's going to come from the Cache of the Ascended after beating the Ascended Council. So if you don't know much about the Ascended Council, basically the idea is that you have to ring five Vespers or bells across Bastion, and you have to do this within a certain time limit. The time limit is very short, and because of that you need multiple people to do this, and really I don't think there's going to be a lot of people looking for the Ascended Council in Dragonflight. So there is a slight caveat to this, and you can actually do this currently. You can solo it, but you have to have five alts that are max level right now. I'm not sure if it's going to change in Dragonflight to the max level for Dragonflight, or if it's going to stay at 60, but right now you can do it, and I I can link a video in the description about how to do this. However, if you don't have all those alts, it is going to be hard for you to find a group to do this in Dragonflight. The next two mounts that I'm going to talk about are going to be the two mythic dungeon mounts, and that's going to be Marrowfang's Reigns from the Necrotic Wake and the Cartel Master's Gear Glider from Tazavesh Gambit. The reason these are going to be a lot harder to get in Dragonflight is because you have the option of doing Keystone Dungeons right now. I mean, you can do this multiple times per day, per week, whatever you want. And if you don't have that option, you're going to have to wait at least a week to try and get those mounts again. The next mount we'll talk about is going to be the Sanctum Gloom Charger's Reigns, and that's going to be the horse that drops from the Nine in Sanctum of Domination. The reason this is going to be a lot harder to get in Dragonflight is because you have the option of doing LFR right now. You could do that on all your alts every week and still have a chance of getting that mount. So once that's gone, you're going to lose the option to get a free raid, and on top of that, you're going to have to go into Group Finder and try and find a group for this raid. The next mounts that we're going to talk about are going to be protoform synthesis mounts and the reason these are going to be harder is mostly because of the rare item that they require. So first of all there's going to be two mounts that require the tools of incomprehensible experimentation which is going to drop from Leuvim in the sepulchre of the first ones. Most likely it's going to be a lot harder to find a raid and on top of that get to the point where Leuvim is. What makes this even worse is this is only a 4% chance to drop from Leuvim, so even if you get the chance to get into a raid, you're going to have to do this multiple times per week, and at the moment you could just do this in LFR, very very easy, but it's going to be a lot harder in Dragonflight to find a group for that raid. The next three mounts here are going to require the Maw Forge Bridle as their rare item, and that's going to drop from the high value cash in Sepulchre of the first ones. So not only do you have to find a group that wants to do this raid, but on top of that, you have to open the high value cache in a very specific way. And I think going into Dragonflight, it's going to be a lot harder to do that. I have a video on how to actually do it, but specifically because people are going to be bursting down things so quickly, it's going to make it way harder to get the item that's needed for it. There is one more mount that's going to be harder to get because it's in Sepulchre of the First Ones, and specifically the schematic is found in there. It's going to be the Curious Crystal Sniffer, and the schematic is found in the second room where you fight Halandris. But not only do you have to get into a lock where Halandris is dead, but you also have to get this item within about an hour of killing Halandris. Otherwise, it disappears. The next mounts that I'll talk about are really just an honorable mention to me. There are some things that are going to be easier and some things that are going to be harder about getting them, and that's going to be the glory achievement mounts. I think that finding a group is a little bit easier for that kind of stuff now. So if there's anything that requires multiple people, those are gonna be the things that you wanna get done now. But past that, if we get into Dragonflight and we're doing a ton more damage, a lot of these achievements are gonna be a lot easier to get actually. And finally, we'll talk about the mounts that are gonna be literally impossible to get after Shadowlands. And the first one is gonna be the Ahead of the Curve mount. So if you don't know much about the Ahead of the Curve mounts, 
Every expansion now for the past few, I think since Warlords of Draenor, they have allowed you to kill the last boss on heroic difficulty. And if you do it before the expansion ends, you get a mount. This mount for Shadowlands is going to be the Carsonized Xerath Steed. So the next mounts on this list are going to be pretty obvious. It's going to be the Keystone Master and the Gladiator mounts. If you don't know how to get those or you want to get those, Keystone Master requires a 2500 Mythic Plus rating. I believe in Season 4 it should be lowered to 2000 again. And as for the Gladiator mount, it's going to require 50 wins while you're above 2400 rating. So these happen every season. Right now we're in Season 3. You can get mounts for these, but in Season 4 specifically, I would say those two mounts are definitely the best looking of the expansion. But that's my list. Try to go for these mounts specifically because they're going to be a lot harder or just literally impossible to get after Shadowlands. But with that being said, you guys have a good rest of your day and thank you for watching. Bye.